In becoming Queen of Denmark, Margrethe II broke the codes. In addition to becoming the first woman since the early 15th century to rule the country, she ended a centuries-old tidal war between Danish and Swedish rulers. On January 14, 2024, her eldest son will become King of Denmark. Among his many titles we find, among others, the title of King of the Vandals and Goths. On January 14, 2024, Queen Margrethe II will break the codes again. The Danish Queen announced in her New Year's Eve speech on December 31, 2023, that she would abdicate within two weeks, on the anniversary of her father's death, and thus the exact date of her ascension to the throne. This will be the second abdication of a Danish sovereign in the country's history. The first and last abdication dates from King Eric III in 1146. In modern times and in the history of the Danish hereditary monarchy, Denmark has not been ruled by a woman since the Oldenburg dynasty founded in the 15th century. The only reigning queen was Margrethe I from 1387 to 1412. In a referendum, King Frederick IX amended the Danish constitution to repeal Salik's law and allow his three daughters to enter the order of succession to the throne. Having only daughters, without this change, his successor would have been his brother, Prince Ned. Queen Margrethe II, who succeeded her father in January 1972, imposed her style. Upon ascending the throne, she ended the tradition of titles considered outdated by not adopting the title of Queen of the Vandals and Goths. Denmark is the second oldest active monarchy in the world after Japan and the oldest monarchy in Europe. Kings were already ruling provinces in the region as early as the 8th century. Around 804, King Godfred had already succeeded in uniting most of these territories into a single kingdom. It was during the reigns of Gorm the Elder and then Harold I around 960 that the Kingdom of Denmark is considered to have become unified. The monarchical system was elective until the 15th century. Count Christian of Oldenburg, elected King of Denmark in 1448, placed the Oldenburg dynasty on the Danish throne, adopting a hereditary system. The current royal family is still descended from the Earls of Oldenburg. As the older branch died out, the family is descended from the younger branch of the Dukes of schleswig holstein sonderburg glucksburg since 1863. Denmark's territory has changed over the centuries, as have its monarchical unions. The most famous is the Union of Kalmar, formed in 1397 during the reign of Queen Margrethe I, the only queen in Danish history before Margrethe II. Through her lineage, marriage, and political decisions, Margrethe became the ruler of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. The union of the three kingdoms lasted until 1523, when the Danes were asked to give freedom to Sweden. The union would continue, without Sweden, between Norway and Denmark until 1814. In addition, Denmark-Norway also gained overseas territories such as Iceland, the Faroe Islands, and Greenland, which historically belonged to Norway. When the Union of Denmark and Norway broke up in 1814, it was Denmark that inherited sovereignty over these territories, as Norway was politically very weak at the time. Since 2000, the Faroe Islands and since 2009 Greenland have been part of the Kingdom of Denmark. Their head of state remains the Danish sovereign but they have their own parliament, government, prime minister and relative autonomy. Iceland, for its part, gained full independence in 1918 and then finally separated from the Danish crown in 1944. King Christian X, Margrethe II's grandfather, was the last king of Iceland. Queen Margrethe II and her sister Princess Benedict are the only living people to have been princesses of Iceland. There is a long list of titles that Queen Margrethe II decided to relinquish after ascending the throne in 1972. These titles were disputed by the Swedish sovereign, who also claimed them on his side after the secession of the Kalmar Union. King Carl XVI Gustav, who ascended the Swedish throne in September 1973, a year and a half after Margrethe II, also decided to relinquish these titles. Queen Margrethe II's full official title is Margrethe II, by the grace of God, Queen of Denmark. By the grace of God recalls the divine connection bestowed upon this function. 
The Danish constitution states that the Evangelical Lutheran Church is the church of the Danish people. Some European monarchies retain this reference, while other countries have dropped the reference to God. The full title still held by King Frederick IX read, King of Denmark, the Vandals and the Goths, Duke of Schleswig, Holstein, Stormarn, Dittmars, Lauenburg and Oldenburg. Other titles have been abandoned in the past, such as Duke of Delmenhorst or Prince of Rugen, and of course the titles of King of Iceland or King of Norway after those countries gained independence. Why didn't Margrethe II want to keep them? These titles may seem outdated and diplomatically awkward. It was also difficult for a woman to carry these titles. The titles discussed here are of Germanic origin, and most Germanic titles of nobility are only passed down through the male line. Wearing a title that refers to a city located in another country, Germany, can also seem diplomatically complicated between two neighboring countries whose border was last divided only 100 years ago. Since Viking times, the Danes have had a reputation for conquest. Over the centuries, Denmark was formed by uniting disparate territories. For a long time, the Danish kings wanted to maintain an accumulation of titles to remind them of their legitimate sovereignty over all territories, as well as over the populations formed by the various clans. The title King of the Vandals, whose translation, Vendern's, in Danish, sometimes varies, refers to a medieval population settled in the Slavic territories of the southern coast of the Baltic Sea. The Danish kings proclaimed themselves kings of the Vandals as early as the 12th century. The title is accompanied by the title of Rex Gotarum, King of the Goths. In Denmark, Valdemar IV assumed the title of King of the Goths in 1362 after the conquest of Gotland, a region located in Sweden today and bearing the name in reference to the Goths. It is traditionally explained that the Goths originated from the Gotland region. Thus, the kings of Sweden already bore the title of King of the Goths since Gotland was annexed to the kingdom. All the ducal titles of the kings of Denmark refer to a former fiefdom won by Denmark. Duke of Schleswig is an important title, as it refers to the territory that is now South Jutland and which was regained, only half, 100 years ago. After losing Schleswig, Denmark regained the northern half of this territory after a referendum. The northern population wanted to return to Denmark, while the southern part wanted to stay in Germany. In 2021, Queen Margrethe II took part in many celebrations to mark the 100th anniversary of Schleswig's reunification with Denmark, which took place in 1920. Since the time of Christian II, son of Christian I, who ascended the throne in 1513, Danish kings have succeeded each other, alternating between the names Christian and Frederick. There were no exceptions until Margrethe's accession to the throne. Frederick would continue the Frederick numbering, of which his grandfather was the ninth to bear the name. Frederick X gave the name Christian to his eldest 18-year-old son, who will become crown prince on January 14. He himself is destined to one day succeed his father under the ruling name Christian XI.